Hey y'all, lady here. Gonna teach you how to make this super cute and adorable eyeglasses stand. For this eyeglasses case, you'll need paint, paint brushes. I cut a piece of thick craft foam to be the shelf in the middle of this container I got from the dollar store. As you can see, it has splinters. So you um also need to get some sandpaper to sand it down. So I'm just going to sand off these splinters. My little box here. I'm going to paint this. I think I'm going to paint this lavender on the outside and like a light teal on the inside. Those seem to be like my two colors for the year. Just going to mix up some paint here. You can just paint wherever you want on the inside. So I painted this part blue for the wall, inside walls. I'm going to paint it black to match the shelf. All right, got the inside and the inside walls done. I'm just going to paint the outside lavender. And then I'm still debating on what to put on the back of it. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to got my behemoth glued in here. I'm going to glue the shelf in. Gonna reinforce it. And I found these metallic markers I bought. I'm gonna use this to do some little designs. Um, I decided on the back, I sketched out a chocobo. Wearing a pair of glasses. It's basically just me and Chuck both for him. Um, so I'm going to sketch that on the back. And I'm just using a pencil and I'll paint over it. And you do whatever you want on the back if you don't feel like drawing and painting on the back of your box you can use some mod podge like this take your drawing color it finish it cut it out um put it down get some some mod podge and just brush it over the image and it'll stick and stay works just as well too So I just sketched it on there and I'm just going to outline it. Um, the nice thing about this wood is you can actually outline it in a sharpie marker and it won't bleed too much. And then you can just paint over it. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, outline is done. <clears throat> I decided I'm going to do a yellow chocobo to contrast with the purple background. And give her a nice pair of teal glasses. Okay, get my paint together. I'm also using this uh, water-based acrylic paint pen. Uh, I can put the link in the description box. I got these off of Amazon. They're really cheap and they actually work really well. Um, <clears throat> They're just easy to trace and draw with too. And I'm just using basic acrylic paint for this. You don't need anything fancy. 
I'm gonna go back. I wanna make a darker shade of yellow and go back and add a little bit of, sh of uh, shadows and shading. how they print lists to do the black lines because I have to go back and redo them but you know my Jacoba on there she's cute I'm just gonna take my black paint pen and redo the black lines the black lines just make it pop a little more There you go, she's done. Um, so now I'm just gonna decorate the pin cap. Um, just decorate the background with my little uh, metallic pins. I could probably just like some stars. Let's do it. It's like cute though. Now we're done, and I got my glasses. Um, I wear two pairs of glasses. I have a pair of glasses for work and a pair of glasses for when I'm not working. So, I'll have like my work glasses. So I'll come home for work and just set them in the box. I like sitting them upside down. And then I'll wear glasses. There you go. Little glasses stand. Cute. You can display it and then they see the cute little picture on the back. You can also decorate the sides if you want to. So, thanks for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.